where we have to cut this angle here. But before we do that, we got to cut this angle. We just can't slap this in there looking like that. I mean, I can, but I'm not, I'm not a perfectionist, but I do like something to look a little better than that. In order to get that angle, we don't want to take off too much here, but we got to look at this end over here. So we're going to drop a block of 2x4, which is an inch and a half thick, and we'll just draw a line right across here. My pencil needs a, a sharp, good sharpening here, but anyways, we draw a line here like that. Now, I'll just cut it off in my chop saw, and this will drop it down a little bit. And before we uh, go any further, we're going to make sure we still are not too short before we cut this angle. Once this one's cut, I can just follow suit on the other side with the other one because they'll be identical. Now I got the angle. We're only interested in this plane right here. This here is the back. That's not right up there tight. But if you feel this here, this is flush right here. And this is the bottom where the seat sits. So now the only thing I got to do is to get the height from here, transfer it over to here, and we can do that with a block of wood of the right height here. And, uh, and that's it. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So We'll be back on this thing when the legs are finished. Put that one on, now i got to do the other side, and then uh, I can flip it over. How you tell if you got the angles right. And it's almost perfect, not 100%. It depends on when I put this on, whether it's moved a little bit this way or this way. Well, i got to juggle this around so that this end comes up here. So i got to just move this here a little bit. But uh, it's fine-tuning, that's all it is, and then we'll fasten that into place. I'm ready to flip this thing over. Okay, the bench is all finished. Um, and what I did, it's not on the video, but what I did is I uh, added another piece from the wood that I took off the front here. Uh, put it up on here and then cut the back down, so it's a little shelf-like. Of course, it's on an angle, but that's okay. And uh, we, we cut this here so that the back isn't... Uh, as wide as it was originally. So the only thing left I have to do now is to sand this a little bit. I did round this off a little here so it's not too sharp when you sit on it. I'll sand it and then I'll put a couple of uh, stains, a couple of coats of redwood stain on it here. But I will, probably won't do that right away but uh, I'll keep it under cover. I want to let these legs uh, dry a little bit before I do it and then when I stain it I'll do the whole thing. Well, this is it. it. Ain't too bad the way it is. I might put some, some wood in to fill in these big wide gaps here, but right now I'm done for today. I'm going to clean up, relax, and go out and get a cup of coffee. Thank you for watching my video.